Shalom. We're going to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash. Yahweh is the true, holy, and powerful name of the Heavenly Father, Bahashem, meaning in the name. Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, and powerful name of his only begotten Son, who is the Savior of the nation of Israel, starting off with the elect. Within the nation of Israel and Israel consists of you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, as well as your Israelite foreigners scattered abroad that may look like the nations where you've been scattered to, but are Israelites. We also want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the whole for the leg, pushing out this word in all sincerity and in truth. All right, we're the brothers from the Great Millstone branch out of Des Moines, Iowa. Coming back at you with another lesson inspired by the Holy Spirit, Haber And, um, you know, the Spirit had me uh, check out this lesson um, a couple hours ago, and um, I was in the gym. As I had uh, was listening to it, you know, and um, I, I was meditating on, you know, uh, what was being said. So to sum it up, you know, you could check out this lesson this is from GMS Watchman. It's entitled, I would never marry a black woman. Everyone is fed up with you. Watch. And, you know, in this clip, you know, uh, this uh, these uh, Israelite women. All right. They uh, speak about, you know, uh, one account where, you know, when this woman was younger, you know, she had heard somebody someone say that. Uh, they would never marry a black woman, right? And then um, uh, I guess their teachers, and they had a student, a little nine-year-old, who uh, said the same thing, all right? And then the teachers had asked, you know, why, you know, would you never do that? And th the child is a mixed child, you know. And once again, you could watch the totality of it, but just summing it up, and um, a few of the things that he had said, he was like, well, they loud as hell, all right? They think they bougie, and um, it was something else, right? But uh, it had me reflect when I was growing up, like, I remember thinking the same thing. Like, I'm not, bro, like, they so loud and this and that and the third and X, Y, and Z. And, you know, our women have made themselves so undesirable to the point to where the only men that can save them, which is the Israelite man, all right, because they can only be hedged from, uh, hedged and um, protected, all right, uh, covered, all right, to receive salvation through, you know, the Israelite man, all right, uh, the only men that can save them don't even want them anymore all right and you know you got these women that get offended and everything like that and and whatnot and you know men have gotten to the point to where they recognize that they don't have to suffer dealing with the shit that the so-called black woman has to bring all right and the hell and the chaos and the you know the confusion all right that they bring man all right so a lot of men are <laughs> going their own way you know, or going to other nations and dealing with them because they don't have to deal with the hell and so on and so forth. So we're going to go into a couple of precepts, you know, on this. And if you got anything, bro, just, you know, let me know and I'll pull it up. But uh, this is the book of Isaiah. I want to start off with this because this is what the scripture says about, yeah, you know, our woman. Yep. Isaiah three. I got you. Come This is Isaiah chapter three and verse 16. It says, moreover, the Lord Yahweh saith, because the daughters of Zion are haughty. Right, it says the daughters of Zion are haughty. So let's stop there, all right? So this is how the Lord is describing the Israelite woman, right? Now the word haughty, all right, when you go into the, um, the blue letter, it says to be high, be exalted, to be high, lofty, to be exalted, right? To be lofty, to be haughty, be arrogant, all right? So our women are extremely arrogant, all right? And even looking it up in the... Um, Is that a one? Yep. I got it. It says proud and disdainful. Proud and disdainful, right? Proud and disdainful. High in one's own estimation. Right. So they think about they think of they think of themselves higher than they ought. All right. And a lot of that's because of what Esau Edom is pumped into their their minds. All right. Put them on this pedestal and everything like that. All right. Here it is. This woman is the weaker vessel. Right. You know. And yet they think they're above men. All right. And so on and so forth. And Esau has set up a system to where women don't have to necessarily rely upon men to the degree that they used to have to in the ancient world. All right. Because they can go and work and make a certain amount of money. They think they don't need no man. But in these times to come, it's going to be very clear that you need a man. All right. You need a hedge of protection. OK. And the men that are going to be able to protect the Israelite woman are, are to the point to where they, they would rather her just go out there and, 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 and suffer punishment. All right. Because of, you know, the, the hell that majority of these women bring in relationships, the confusion. All right. All, all this shit, man. You know, and the Lord is addressing it through the spirit and he's going to address these things with judgment. All right. You know, you got a lot of simps that's out here. They be trying to justify these women and everything like that. You know, as in, 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 in all this madness, man, all that's going to be done away with, man. When judgment comes. All right. The Lord is going to humble these women extremely. And a lot of these women, they're going to humble down when it's too late. All right. 
when shit is hitting the fan, they're going to want to humble down. They're going to want to get an order. They're going to want to listen to so on and so forth. All right. And they're going to end up just getting caught up in judgment, man. But it also says, uh, what well, that was it in Hadi, right? But it said, uh, proud and disdainful right now. The scripture says in the book of Sirach, the 10th chapter, um, uh, <clears throat> all right. This is a uh, Sirach 10 and seven. It says pride is hateful before the most high and man and by, and by it doth and by both doth one commit iniquity so pride is something that's hateful in the sight of the most high and in the sight of men all right so this whole proud arrogant mentality that these women walk in and everything like that all right the lord ain't dealing with it all right the woman talking crazy today man and so on and so forth right thinking that they above the man and so on and all that madness man the lord ain't dealing with that and once again these women is gonna get humbled and these calamities man all right and they're going to cry for help and they're going to want deliverance and so on and so forth. And it ain't going to happen for majority of them, man. Plain and simple. All right. That's why in the book of Ezekiel, the ninth chapter, it says, set a mark upon the forehead of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. That marking is, is an exemption from judgment. So you're going to have men that are exempted from judgment, just like Noah. All right. Noah was exempt from the judgment. And, and then what happened? All right. His, his work. All right. His work that he put in through faith and building the ark and the fear that he walked in. Obedience. All right. The obedience that he walked in to the uh, uh, to the heavenly father allowed his household to be covered as well. But the scriptures talk about how she shall be cha saved in childbearing if she continues in faith, uh, 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 sobriety. And um, how is it worded, man? Saved and childbearing. Let me just type in childbearing. All right. Because that's a big if. All right. You know. This is 1 Timothy 2 and 15. It says, um, I'm going to start at verse 14, verse 13. For Adam was first formed, then Eve, right? And the scriptures also talk about how the woman was created for the man and not the other way around. So women were created to serve the man. All right. And women that have an issue with that role of being under subjection to a man, or they got all these stipulations, why well, I ain't going to be under subjection unless this, unless that, and X, Y, and Z, all right, so on and so forth. We don't come like that to the Lord. Well, I ain't going to be under the rule of the Lord unless this and that. You got all these standards and stipulations like that's your order. You're supposed to be under the rule of a man. Right. All right. It ain't all this. You know, it ain't like that with us in the Lord. You know what he says is what goes, man. So you're under the rule of a man. Right. But anyways, it says and Adam was and Adam was not deceived. But the woman being deceived was in the transgression. Not notwithstanding. She shall be saved in childbearing if they continue in faith and charity and holiness with sobriety. Right. You know, so that's a big if. OK, you know, that's a big if. All right. And a lot of these women, man, they 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 just going to be they just going to be destroyed. That's just the, the <laughs> that's just the truth of the matter. All right. Going back to that Ezekiel, the ninth chapter. It says to the others, he said in mine hearing, smite, let not your eyes spare, neither have you pity. So utterly old and, and young, both maids, little children and women. Mm -hmm. All right. It mentions women twice because a lot of women is going to get judged. The Lord is not a respecter of person. See, Esau's put it in this society where he's not bringing judgment upon women. A woman can go hop from rod to rod. All right. You know, a man can't uh, uh, bring order in his household. You know, she's got this liberty to do all this and that. And the third. Right. Well, the Lord ain't with that. OK. And judgment is coming quickly and speedily. So you're going to see clearly that the Lord is not a respecter of persons when these gruesome judgments come uh, come down. man. You know, but um. You had anything? We'll go back to the yeah. Isaiah. If not. Well, hey, I was just going to say it's the chain of order of things, man. You know, because just how we, because look, I'll, I'll bring this out. This is um, James 4 and 7. It says, submit yourselves, therefore, to the most high. Resist the devil and he shall flee from you. Right. But the point being is submit yourselves unto the most high. Right. First Peter 5 and 6. Humble yourselves before the mighty hand of the most high that he might exalt you in due time. So the order is to be subject, to be under the ordinance and rulership of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And it gives you clearly the uh, um, the chain of command. You know, it's the most high, Yahweh Shai, the man, the woman, and the children. That's the way the Lord has set it up. So just how we have to be subject unto the most high, it says what? Wives also, and likewise, be subject unto your husbands. Mm -hmm. You know, because that's how you serve Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. But like the brother say, these women already have the mindset of, uh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna, you know, hey, there's even a stigma, a negative stigma, but uh, with the word submission. Oh, I don't want to be in submission. I'm not gonna submit to nobody. You know, the brothers, you know, we're equal, so on and so forth. No, that's not the way the Lord has set it up. You know, so 
that's that's them being joined hand in hand with Esau, man. They're completely indoctrinated and given over into the serpent's philosophies. Yep, it's another precept. Uh, it might be in Ephesians section. Uh, the Lord, how is it worded? It's uh, it says, "Wise be under subjection to your men, as unto the Lord." Yeah. As unto the Lord, how is it worded? Huh? It's not this First Peter one. Salakia. This is uh, Ephesians five and twenty-two. Okay. Ephesians 5 and 22. It says, um, wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. Right. So, you know, you can't skip over, you know, well, I'm going to serve the Lord, but I'm not going to listen to my husband or I'm not going to listen to a man or this and that and the third. It don't work like that. All right. <laughs> there's an order, you know, plain and simple, you know. So even like within the brotherhood, there's an order in that, you know, you have certain decrees that come down and everything like that. And you know, we can't be like, oh, well, nah, I ain't finna listen to that decree. Well, the spirit was on that man or, you know, to set forth the order and there's a rank and, and file and everything like that, that we're under the rule of. All right. Mm -hmm. Showing our submission to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai through the men that he set up, through the uh, the ordinances that he's put the spirit on men to give and so on and so forth. That shows forth that we're under under subjection unto Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. It's the same thing with the woman. Mm -hmm. All right. And these same things that we're telling a uh, uh, woman to do. All right. And how they're supposed to be in their order. We're doing the same things for our husband. All right. Because the scripture says in the book of uh, Genesis, the third chapter, um, it says that um, that our desire, that the woman's desire is to be towards her husband. All right. Seeking to please him. All right. And it's the same thing with us. Us being the wife, the bride of Yahweh Shai. We're we're under that same rule. All right. What he says is what goes. So it's the same thing with the woman. And if anybody doesn't have a, anybody has an issue with that order or whatever the case may be, what do you, how shall I say? Those my enemies that would not that I should reign over them, meaning that what? You don't want to want the Lord to under rule. Subjection. You don't want to be under subjection. You don't like the orders that the Lord has set forth. You don't agree with these different things. He said, bring them hither and slay them before me. And that's what's going to happen in these times. Any woman that doesn't have or uh, has a mind, well, I don't want to be under the rule and under subjection. You're going to be slain, man. That's just the reality of it. All right. These things aren't, you know, it ain't going to be no light consequences, man. It's going to be gruesome out here and it's all going to be righteous judgment, man. But it says, um, yeah, Bob, I'll show you read. Con. Damn. I hope it wasn't connected. All right. But it says, um, you say what? Oh, you keep reading. Verse 23 for the husband is the head of the wife, even as Yahweh Shai is the head of the church and he is the savior of the body. All right. The, the savior of the body. So we obtain salvation through obedience of Mashiach Yahweh Shai, of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Therefore, like the brother, like the brother read, she shall be saved if she continue in trial bearing and faith, you know, so on and so forth. So obedience to your husband will equate your salvation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Simply put, yeah. As Yahweh Shai is the savior of the body, your husband's gonna gonna be the one that that saves you. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> that's plain and simple, man. All right, we can't go to Yahweh Shai. What not? Oh, like uh, you know, I had uh, looked up the lesson because it reminded me of um a lesson Elder Damashpa had there. You can't save a woman that don't listen. All yeah. right, if a woman don't want to listen and be under the rule, she just not gonna get delivered. Like yep. that's just what it is. Okay. You know, so any woman that's got this mentality, they want to make it, they want to escape these calamities to come. You are gonna have to come under the rule. Mm -hmm. All right, and if you are in disagreement with that and this and that and the third, well then that's fine. You're gonna have to deal with. The consequences of if you don't want to be under my rules, the rule of the man, right? Well, then you can go abide by your own rules somewhere else, but you're going to be outside of the hedge. The same thing with us in Yahweh Shai. If we don't agree with his rules and his orders and so on and so forth, then we have the liberty to, to go outside of that. But then we're dealing with not being in that hedge, you know, not being protected. So that's just, you know, that's just what it is, man. But, um, you get one more verse. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, or oh, Salaki, I'm reading uh, verse 24. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Yahweh Shai, so let the wives be subject to their own husbands. There's, there's one more part. It says, uh, right. Subjection. Oh, Salaki, therefore, as the church is subject unto Yahweh Shai, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. In everything. Oh, but he don't want me to wear that. Oh, well, that, well, that don't count. No, in everything. All right. In everything, man. You know what I'm saying? Turn things the Lord don't want us to do. Hey, it is what it is. Yeah. Oh, but I want to, and that's my desire. Oh, but it will make me. Uh, nah, bro. No, right. no. The yep. Lord don't want you doing that. 
Hey, did, did, did not it say that uh, that uh, Sarah called Abraham Lord? You know? So there, there you have it. You should be treating your man as you would treat Yahweh Bashem, as you would treat Yahweh Shai, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Yep, that's it. That's it. Uh, I'm going to grab this and we can end it off on that. Sirach uh, 25. Sirach chapter 25. And verse... Um, <laughs> I was telling Jake about uh, this, this chick back in college, right? She was this fine ass light skin nigga woman you know nice body and everything like that everybody wanted her all right everybody wanted to sleep with her but nobody wanted to wife her because <laughs> she was a demon a dragon you know she was fine enough to where you know jake would uh, uh uh hit so to speak but because of how much of a dragon she was nobody actually wanted to, to wife her up but uh i remember i was telling the jake you know she had posted a tweet but and this was like oh damn near 10 years ago you know she had posted a tweet she was like, uh, I needed a, <laughs> I need a man that can tame me, right? And that's the problem with the, the Israelite woman, all right? Your ass need to be tamed, okay? And nobody wants to, to fucking deal with that. Uh, taming a, a dragon, a lion, an animal. Are you a, a wild animal that needs to be tamed, you know? Nah, man, all right? You, you ain't got to tame the, 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 the so-called white woman, you know? dogs man. It's, most of the time they ass be in order for the most part you know i ain't finna put that bitch on the pedestal all right but that's why you know the spirit beyond brothers like you might as well deal with an edomite woman because you're gonna deal with less hell all right <laughs> you know you ain't yeah, gonna have to deal with she's gonna be under subjection you know she's gonna be more humble more feminine yeah she ain't finna be yelling talking back talking shit and everything like that and so on and so forth but the nigga woman will do that so then it's like why would i choose to deal with that what what reason do I have to, what is compelling, what's the point? Yeah. When it's all these women out here, all right, especially in this day and age, all right, women out, number men, why suffer dealing with that at all when I can just go deal with another woman that's going to be under subjection and give me less hell? So at the end of the day, and that's what men are coming to the realization of, we don't have to deal with the Israelite woman. If she don't want to be in the proper order, she want to talk shit, now you're going to deal with trouble in the flesh and so on and so forth, but... You deal with what you want to deal with. Yeah. As a man, you have to, you can deal with what you want to deal with. And this precept's going to go into it. But you was going to say something now? Yeah, well, these women are fucking backwards, man. Because uh, and we didn't finish it off. But that Isaiah 3, it, it speaks about the curses. And how basically they're out here being sluts. You know? They're having that seductive look. Trying to get you. Yeah, walking, tingling eyes. with their feet. In a different... Uh, yeah, in a different uh, uh, translation that says, you know, switching the hips. You know, flirting with their eyes, seductive, mm -hmm. all, all that bullshit, man. And that's a curse. Now, the the difference between, you know, certain men, I'll say certain men because they certain people don't don't give a fuck. You know, they'll live in the curses. But when you realize you're under those curses, you're trying to get out. I, I'm living in a condition where I, I'm all my money is a fucking bag. With whole, I'm trying to get out of that condition. I got certain, uh, uh, right, they call it chains or whatever, you know, s certain things that happen in my family, single households, so on and so forth. I'm trying to escape that shit through Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, right? But these bitches embrace it. And yes, I call them bitches because that's what the scriptures say. It says a shameless woman shall be accounted as a dog. They have no shame. Dressing like sluts, like whores, like the brother said on a, hey, like out of Malcolm, I said on a cock carousel, jumping from rod to rod. Right. It says that she wiped her lips, says she has done no evil. Yeah. And then she's dressing like that. And, 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 and you know, bro, hey, different brothers, man, you, hey, you know, you shouldn't dress like so on and so forth. And instead of being, oh, you, you, you're you right. I should respect my, and you show them. You, you're really disrespecting yourself. You wouldn't do that shit, man. Okay. You know? Yeah. Ah, well, uh, I, need, I need a nigga that's comfortable with himself to handle this. Oh, you, you, you uh, what, what do they say? You, you ain't, you ain't, uh, you ain't confident with yourself. That's why you can't have a woman that dressed like this. <laughs> what? Yeah. Who, 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 who? And they embrace it. Yeah. Because what are they, what are they saying? I'm a bad bitch. Uh, we were bitches. Uh, yeah. a bitch. Uh, what's that fucking? I think it's gorilla. Whatever. Uh, gorilla. bad bitches twerking on on top of the the car or whatever the fuck yeah. that bitch said. They're taming your ass. Nobody finna like that. Shit is embarrassing. You know. Here it is. Your your wife is in public shaking her ass in front of everything ass out you know and niggas and niggas that accept that shit you know yeah like they finna get through too you and that nigga that will accept that shit y'all can both catch a missile yep. all right you know because we're coming back into the mentality of like nah we got standards if you here it is you're supposed to be representing me all right but you're acting like this 
nah, streets can have your ass. Or you mm-hmm. can just be treated as a harlot. Because if that's majority of these women are harlots, all right? You can be treated as one. So, yeah, you know, you might deal with them and everything like that. But, all right, finna, yeah. what, take, come, bring your ass home and tame you? Let's see what happened to the woman in jail. No, you for the streets. <laughs> nah, I don't leave your ass to the streets. Like it's going to say here, pretty much. So, Rock 25 and, um... 23 a wicked woman abated the courage make it the heavy countenance in a wounded heart yeah they be talking shit you know constantly you know bringing the man down you yeah. ain't shit this and that and the third next one z and as men we've suffered certain things and the spirit has has shifted to where men understand they don't have to deal with that why mm-hmm. why deal with that shit you know like for what reason why would i suffer all this i can go get another woman all right and be peaceful as hell Instead of forcing myself to stay in this situation, like, nah, you just, your ass is at the curb, go to the streets, you deal with it on your own, man. All right, it says, go give somebody else some hell. It says, a wicked woman abated the courage, make it the heavy heart, or a heavy countenance and a wounded heart. A woman that will not comfort her husband in distress, make it weak hands and feeble knees. Of the woman came the beginning of sin, and through her we all die. Give the water no passage, neither a wicked woman liberty to gather abroad. Right. You know, these women, they go out there and they abuse themselves through over much liberty. That's what the scripture says. All right. You know, yeah, a woman get a little drink in her. And next thing you know, she finna hop on another nigga. All right. Just off of two shots of tequila. All right. Don't give a fuck. Ass out, shaking her ass. Yeah, like, yeah, bro. nobody That's, finna deal with that shit. That was a whole thing on uh, on Twitter not long ago. They were like, is, is this considered cheating? Cause uh, she went out with her friends and shit. Oh, and shaking she, her she's ass. Like, yeah, she was just shaking her ass on some nigga. Like, oh, right. it's not cheating. We was just dancing. We was having a good time. Right. Fuck out of here. And then bro. you come back home, and then the nigga feels some type of way, but he just ain't gonna say nothing. Cause that's how. Like, fuck all that. Like, nah. I ain't dealing with that shit, man. <laughs> all right. Your ass want to be out in the streets, then you gonna be out in the streets. Yeah. You know, you yeah. don't want to. Oh, you don't allow me to have. If that's fun to you, well, take your fun ass outside yeah. with somebody else. Yeah. All right. That's just what it is. You have rules and guidelines that you have to be under. And if you don't want to be under that, you want to be free, all right, and do whatever the fuck you want. Hey, it says she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth, That's all right, right, because you're going to destroy yourself through your overmuch liberty. That's what the scripture says. That's right. You and, know? And, and it's even more of a judgment because you're doing that to a man of the Lord, you know? Because mm-hmm. we're we talking about, hey, bro, you know, obviously, yes, we're we speaking about our people, but more specifically, you know, uh, about, hey, those that have an ear to hear, you know what I'm saying? These people are gonna fucking die horrible deaths, man. Especially those that that those women that do that shit to brothers. Hey, the Lord got a special judgment for their ass, man. Oh yeah, no, the Lord don't play. Like the Lord do not yeah. play about his servants, man. Hey, uh, it reminds me of the scripture that says, uh, pretty much that they were killed by those things that they pretty much had in reverence. Where were they? Uh, they were pun- Yeah, where were the man sinned? Therefore, shall you be punished? It's up in that right. chapter. Right. That's that's how it's worded. They're roughly paraphrasing. With whatever they were sending, that's what they were punished with. Well, these bitches jumping from rod to rod, like I said earlier. I don't know if you heard, but it, uh, I believe it's in the, in the book of Judges, right? Mm-hmm. The 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 woman, yeah, that played the harlot on the Levite priest. Yeah, bro. Yeah, what, what happened? She, bro, she got raped to death. Yeah, and then got cut up in pieces and sent out to be made an example, bro. Right. And one thing too, even with that, because the Levite priest, he was simping over, her, you know what I'm saying? Because he was, she committed adultery. He went back to go get her. He cared about her, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, to each his own, you know, we deal with different shit, whatever, right? But nevertheless, the whole point is that even though he went back to go get her, he was meek enough, he cared about her so much, the Lord still had an issue with that yeah. bitch, all right? So yep. you might have a brother, he may be meek, he might allow certain things, and it's like, all right, but the shit. Lord see that shit, you know? Lord bring judgment upon your ass, yeah. man, and that's what happened. So even though he went back and he cared about the woman enough to go back and get her after he was compassionate enough, Damn. all right, to go back and get her, right? And take her on to her, the Lord was like, nah, this bitch, she got to die. So what happened, man? She got raped to death, all right, by a bunch of sodomites. That was the judgment of the Lord. That was a righteous judgment from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So, you know, that's, uh, once again, that's why it says, you had quoted in that book of Proverbs, it says, uh, favor is deceitful and beauty is vain, but a woman that fears the Lord, she shall be praised, man. Mm-hmm. All right, so you should have enough fear to know, like, the Lord will fuck me up. Huh. You know what I'm saying? Like, the Lord will jack my ass up, straight up. Like, do I want to be out here on my own in the midst of martial law? And you should be in fear, okay? Because you will get left up out, uh, left out here, mm-hmm. all right? You, you, you angering your man and got him going through all this hell. The Lord will have your ass out there on your own, all right? No hedge. 
niggas just running through your ass. Yeah. Like the Lord don't give a fuck. And then the Lord, will, the Lord will have, you know, I'm gonna get rid of her. I'm gonna give you five more women. They're gonna be in better order. Yep. And your ass is gonna be on the side or not there, yeah. <laughs> you know, or on the, on the side of a street trodden down. Like it says, she that live or in the book of Micah, she that is mine enemy shall see it. Shame shall cover her. All right. It says that she shall be trodden yeah. down and as like the mire the of the, the street. streets. So that's going to be fulfilled. There's going to be women that brothers have been dealing with. They've been giving them all types of hell. The ass is going to get trodden down, man. All right. And then the Lord is going to trade their ass out. Yeah. You're disposable. We're disposable as servants. You don't want to get in line. All right. We don't want to get in line. It ain't nothing for the Lord to. Uh, psh, all right. Just easy trade out. He ain't batting no eye, you know. So these are things we have to consider, man. Yeah, yeah, what the, what the big bro Matati say? It's just your salvation. Yeah. All because you didn't want to, all because you didn't want to clean up the way you dress. All because you you don't want to make that brother some food. All because you causing that brother some hell for no fucking reason, man. Because mm -hmm. you could, you're gonna die a horrible fucking death just because you couldn't learn to shut the fuck up, man. Yeah, that's crazy. That shit's wild. <laughs> you, they, you all you had to do was shut your fucking mouth. And you would have been straight. But now now you're in a fucked up condition. Hey, but again, that's the scriptures. Yeah. James, right? It says uh, how it's the smallest member of the body, but yet what greater fire it kindleth. Yeah. It says uh, uh, in the power of the tongue are life and death. Mm -hmm. So, hey, ultimately, it's, uh, do you believe? Do you truly believe in the scripture? Do you believe in the Lord? Or well, this is what's written. What you going to do about it? Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. It says, uh, verse 26. It says... If she go not as thou wouldest, so like if she go not as thou wouldest have her, cut her off from thy flesh mm -hmm. and give her a bill of divorce and let her go. <laughs> all right. And ultimately, through the movement, through the spirit, this is what Jake, all right, outside of the faith, Jake in the faith has yeah. been doing, letting her ass go and moving on. Mm -hmm. All right. The so called black woman, all right, and the rest of the tribes, these women that don't want to get in order. Jake is moving on, all right? Like hey, like the apostles always mentioned, like, look, we don't need our woman to bring back the nation because we carry the seed, all right? And that's another thing. And, that, and, and you woman got to get humble to the point to where you understand that you're disposable and you're not needed, all right? Once you understand that, it should put you in a better humble mentality of, of, of appreciation of being with a man, all right, and serving him, all right, and, and, and to hopefully receive that salvation, man, being in the proper order, you know? But that's really it, man. Through the spirit, you had anything else? Up? No, that's it. we're gonna end it right there and give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing out this word in all sincerity and the truth. With that, we're gonna say Shalom. Shalom.